Florida Rama. Sounds fun, right? Well, how about combining a local artist's love of art and art history with iconic Florida structures and stories? It's part of the brand new monthly event series, Art After Dark at the Fairgrounds St. Pete. With more, we are happy to welcome in uh, Lucky Leroy and also Sarah Harden. Welcome to the show, the both of you. Hi, thank you for having us. <laughs> We're excited to get to know you a little bit. Uh, talking a little Andy Warhol before we even dive into your artwork, perhaps. Uh, give people an idea. Introduce yourself a little bit, Lucky Leroy. What do people need to know about you before experiencing your art? Uh, I'm an Andy Warhol impersonator, and um, I love to dress up like Andy Warhol and bring, uh, you know, ideas about Andy Warhol to everyone, you know. I love that. What is it about Andy Warhol that it was someone that you wanted to, to well, dress up like? And, I mean, do we see that in your art? Yeah, I grew up in Pennsylvania and spent, uh, grew up in Pennsylvania and then moved to New York City. So New York City and Pennsylvania, those are two things that Andy Warhol's life. And so that's, you know, drew me to him. And uh, of course, the, the draw, the draw to an artist, especially kicking off a new series. Sarah, mm -hmm. what is this all about? And why did you know that this is where you wanted to begin with Lucky Leroy? Yeah, so we were so excited to bring Leroy in as one of our artists at Fairground St. Pete. Um, he has created a wonderful Florida Rama there's always been a lot of draw to Leroy's artwork, um, considering that we've seen a lot of your work uh, over time in the past two years since we've been open, since September 2021. Um, and just kicking off a new series called Art After Dark, uh, Leroy was the perfect candidate to kind of start the vibe, start the party. Uh, we wanted to bring uh, a mix and mingle kind of vibe to Fairground St. Pete, where people can kind of gather, talk, have a few drinks. Um, and Leroy definitely wanted to bring the party and we, uh, we wanted to have Leroy do an artist talk and talk about the work. I love this. I, you know, and too, before we even dive more, I, I want to, we're taking a look right now at some examples. Fair around St. Pete, I'm even still seeing social networking. A lot of people still asking questions. There it is. The buzz is still <laughs> happening around Fairground St. Pete. Yes. What is it about this spot that just lends itself to perfect artwork like we just saw there with, uh, with Lucky Leroy's? Yes. The, uh, well, we're an immersive um, museum that features art and technology blended together. And the buzz is always going to be, we're, we're trying to keep the buzz up uh, by always installing new artwork and having installations change over time so things kind of stick around for a little while and then will change over the course of the year with the seasons and stuff um, oh yeah every time I go there it's something different and <laughs> yeah. even if it even if it hasn't changed between two times that I go I'll see different things and mm -hmm. want to take pictures from different angles and <laughs> Well, of course, and talk a little bit. You know, I touched on your, your interest in history. Give people an idea. Uh, we have some examples actually on our table. We just took a look there. Introduce us to your art. Talk a little bit about what you're able to do. This one in particular, spray paint stencils with a little bling that I appreciate. Yep, there is rhinestones in it. I embellished a spray paint stencil painting with rhinestones. And the story of each of the Florida Ramas in Fairgrounds is a Florida story. Mm -hmm. So when they asked me to do one, I had like a, a menu of Florida stories that I thought would be interesting. And the one they chose was Andy Warhol Comes to Florida. So Andy Warhol came to Florida in 1972 um, to, because they were going to, uh, which happened recently too, they were going to tear down all the Art Deco hotels on Ocean Drive in Miami. So the Historic Society brought Andy Warhol because he was a, a Art Deco collector. Yeah. Andy Warhol, Carl Lagerfeld, and Barbara Streisand were the ones oh, who really started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they saw that Art Deco was a you know American art form, and so when everybody was throwing their Art Deco away, they said, "No, we have to save this." Yeah. So it worked. You know the 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 you know uh, saving of the Art Deco worked because the building that they took. Uh, Andy Warhol to in 1972 is the same building that um, Gianni Versace could purchase Ugh. and renovate in the in 1992. So now is that what kind of like is your inspiration? Is that what the story that you were able to tell at the uh, fairground St. Pete? Yeah, that's what the the 
Florida Rama illustrates that story. Okay, I love that story. I mean, just to have those people together and being able to capture it with you. Well, we are almost out of time. What is the best way to enjoy this artwork and come out and visit you, especially as this new series, Art After Dark, begins? Yeah, uh, we encourage everyone to escape reality at Fairgrounds St. Pete. You can buy tickets at fairgrounds.art. Um, we encourage everyone to come out for Art After Dark. It's the third Friday of every month, specifically July 21st. 7 to 9 p.m. and um, invite you guys to have uh, there fun. There you go. There you go. Polaroid and everything. Yes, you and I want to go. I want to take a Polaroid of you, <laughs> Natalie. I don't know if this has ever happened yes. to you. Eighth year. So, and I want to get your autograph. <laughs> yes. This is quite so, the role reversal here on today's show. I, you never know what to expect with uh, Andy uh, Warhol. Can I get here. your autograph? There we go. They're telling me I got to go ahead and wrap <laughs> up the segment. Well, first for everything here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs>